Hello there YouTube and with the most of the civilized world, this is Garaksu coming to another video. And if you see, this is not Minecraft, this isn't Photoshop. So what is this? This is Warframe. Um, I guess some of you already know this game, it's a free to play game. Um, and contrary to most other free to play games, it's actually a lot of fun. Well, in my opinion at least. And um, today I want to show you what I have in Warframe. I have been playing it for some time now. So, yeah. Can't wait to see what you guys think of it. So, this is my favorite combination of everything. You have a vault, which is, in my opinion, one of the nicest looking frames. Although it was pretty much useless uh, previous update because it had a really long... Uh, time before it like used its ult and it could be killed whilst doing it and it basically was a bad frame they fixed it now it's a plausible frame again although I only use it for corpus because really that's the only thing it's really good at then the ogress is a rocket launcher and um, I just formatted it so it's not really high at the moment but I put a double V polarity and I now have split chamber since yesterday, which means that I have the chance to shoot two rockets whilst not using any extra ammo. You know, two rockets at once. And I will be using heavy caliber to divert its pathways and then have like this crazy rocket launcher that shoots two rockets all over the place and everything blows up. Um, yeah, you will get some gameplay from that once I succeed in making my Ogres high enough level for that. Now, then we have the Despair. Uh, is one of my favorite, I mean, it is my favorite um, weapon at the moment of uh, secondaries. Now, I do have to level some, some things in here and it's not really uh, the best uh, loadout. <laughs> it's just a combination of things rapidly thrown together because damage 2.0 came out and I didn't really know what to do. Same for my Galaxy, by the way. But then we have my pickaxe, as I like to call it. I mean, come on. What is it besides a pickaxe? It's my favorite looking melee weapon. I mean, just look at it. I mean, of course, it's on fire right now because I have, like, heat damage on it. But just look at it. It's a pickaxe. Kiraxu cannot go without a pickaxe. Then a cube, of course, what would I be without cubes? Uh, I supercharge my cube. So it has 60 mod, mod capacity and it, it's, it's quite capable of taking things down. Although I still have some things to level. But, you know, eventually. Eventually. I, I really think this is a nice sentinel. Although I also have a carrier which I prefer in some cases because it uh, this carrier drone basically sucks uh, items etc and, and energy orbs towards you which can be a real lifesaver although of course this one is killing everything well everything with the death machine rifle um, it has a lot of slash damage so it's now basically not as good as it was anymore I really wish they had balanced it all out but they did not which is yeah quite a shame really um, whilst if you look at carrier carrier has a shotgun okay it's the sweeper shotgun and the sweeper shotgun has a lot of impact and quite some puncture so, it seems like I'll have to alter my guns regarding the faction that I want to go against. Uh, the sweeper, if I go against anything besides um, the, the, the the infested, that's what I was going for. And, well, if I'm going for the infested, then the minigun. Uh, you'll also have noticed maybe that I have shade. Shade is a sentinel that has the ability to cloak its owner. So it's very good for stealth for, for, for stealth missions. Uh, and I sold its gun because it was very bad. Um, that was before I could switch guns. And even after, I believe that the cube would not have been so good for it. 
Now, you'll see I have 45 platinum. I did buy a little bit of platinum, but that was because no one gave me any platinum. <laughs> no, uh, I wanted to have some slots. Um, basically, you, you're going to see the, the height point of this video. I have all the frames. All of them. Every single one. Just yesterday, I got the newest frame, Valkyr. She's uh, only ranked 2 at the moment, so nothing really special. Can't really say much about her yet. But, um, yeah, I have every single frame. Well, not the Prime versions. But, as far as all the powers go, I can play with all of them. Doesn't really matter what. Um, okay, so let's go over them. So, Vault. Um, I format him recently as well. Because I really like Vault. Uh, its shock ability basically does uh, electric damage, and, and uh, I should I should not really go over every single um, damage thing that the the frames do because in that case I would end up with a ridiculously long video. Um, Overload was basically the ability that was um, nerfed last patch and buffed right now. It um, basically made Volt spring up into the air do a lot of electrical damage but he would be stuck midair and he would not be invulnerable so everything in the map could shoot him and he would die horribly. Electric shield is really good for basically shielding yourself haha <laughs> quite obviously and speed is nice in, in if you want to move really fast. Anyway that's my vault cancel. Um, this is an alter alternative helmet Normally, Volt would have this helmet, um, but since this helmet makes him look something more special, I decided to give him this one. I, I really don't know how I would feel if he had this helmet. I mean, the dangly bits are okay, but the front is really... Mm, I, I don't like it. Now, then, for my Ogress, I almost always hit myself. So, wait, wait, I, I should go about this in a, in a logical order, shouldn't I? Ash. Ash is basically the, the cloaking and slice and dice you up frame. Um, uh, it's, it's reasonably good, but I never really, really used him. Um, yeah, that's about my, my Ash. Uh, I think I do. I have an alternative helmet for Ash yet. Uh, no, I don't. Well, I have the Scorpion in my foundry, which we will go look at later. Banshee, really, really do not like Banshee. Um, I mean, I guess she could be good, but I am just not good with her. I don't like the silence ability. I don't like the. Um, well, the only thing I really, really like about Banshee is her radar. That's basically all she's good for, as far as I am concerned. I mean, I haven't really tested her out in this update yet, so I might be wrong. And if any one of you has some tips, um, feel free to leave them, because Banshee, really, I don't, I don't know. Um, Amber. I really like uh, Amber. She's uh, quite a hot uh, chicken. Like really, she she's a, a chi look look what what she looks like. Is this not a a chicken? Like that helmet, that that helmet. You, you cannot tell me that's not a chicken. I mean, really. Yeah, I I wish I could look from it a little bit from more above, but it doesn't seem like it'll work. Well, yeah, there there you go. Now you can see. Well, could see her. Anyway, um. Appearance. Let's go back to this helmet because I prefer this one. Still looks like a chicken, but in a good way. And um, yeah, that's Amber. Amber basically burns everything alive and is really only good against infested now, but I never really, really use her that much. Well, I, I heard good stuff about her, so I put in a potato which doubles her capacity, but... Mm, could be better. Maybe it's just because I 
need to, to use her and to mod her well. Then Excalibur, um, I went to get this frame just because I needed, I wanted to complete my set. Uh, I never was fond of Excalibur. I started with a mag and I only saw Excalibur as noobs and, you know, although a friend of me started, uh, a friend of me, Sir Lindrix, should check him out description he has war from videos too and other let's play things like he, he does all sorts of games whilst i usually do mostly creation stuff um anyway he had excalibur and he was good with it so there, there are people who are good with, with excalibur so then it's perfectly fine to use it but the most excaliburs you'll see especially in low missions are going to be noobs who are going to be able to do nothing he, however, did not. Um, then Frost. Frost is um, the second to last frame I was able to get because it was really hard to get past the rescue missions. Um, Frost basically, well, Frost, what do you think Frost does? Hmm? Take a guess. I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you the time. Okay, enough time. Uh, it basically freezes a lot of things. It has an ability that it can just shoot a beam which freezes it has its ultimate which freezes enemies near him and does a lot of damage and it has a ability to make a snow globe which is basically a 360 degrees shield of awesome where nothing from the outside can come in it, it's affected by duration instead of power or so so it's just great uh, you can shoot outward but not inward and sadly the explosions from the rocket launcher still enter which is too bad because I really liked frost because I thought if I have a snow globe and I shoot a rocket outside of the globe then it would not hit me but it, it did so yeah then we have Loki oh Loki Loki is this is the shade what Loki is such a great frame I mean I never really use him because it's only rare that I am going to use him. But with this weapon, the Galatine, 1,400 in charge attack. It it's a beast of a weapon. I mean, of course, look at it. It's a giant great sword. No, but um, but but Loki has this ability called invisibility, and I basically am am building him towards exactly that. Um, invisibility is such a good ability. It it basically makes you invisible and um, makes enemies forget you were even there. So it it insta stealths you, and if you do a stealth kill, it um, gives you a yellow number. But if you do a crit attack, whilst shaded, you get a red number, and a red number is double the amount of uh, critical chance which in this case is times 5 or so I believe the last time I, I hit someone with uh, a Loki with this the highest damage was uh, 48k damage yeah yeah it's it's really rare that you do so much damage but you you can do that much damage which is more than insane I don't even but um, I haven't really tested it out since damage 2.0 so I don't really know too much of it it's probably a lot lower now but um, it's still freaking awesome because I did use my galatine so <clears throat> now then mag mag was my starter frame this is not mag game what are you doing yeah this is mag now I don't really like her customization options because her, her skin is like, I'll show you that if I want to change the primary, everything changes. Like there's no real nuances in there. I don't know how to, to, to explain it, but really it, it, it's a good frame. It's a good solid frame. You have, um, the abilities to crush things and to 
do a bullet attractor. That's the main thing that I use it for. Bullet attractor basically places a giant globe. Well, in my case, it's giant because I made it range, etc. as well. I don't know why these two are out because I would do this and have more. Um, yeah, it's probably because constitution was off, so it would have been like this for duration. Yeah, that was that was it. Doesn't really matter. I'll go about those things in another video. <coughs> as I just want to show off what I have right now. Um so yeah, Mag, really good um frame. <coughs> I don't know what's wrong with my throat. Probably didn't do a YouTube video for quite some time and that has come back to me. I really wish I had more time. Um which I soon we'll have more about that in a later video once again now onwards to the next necros uh, it's i believe well the second to last why is yeah uh, second to last new frame that was out and um necros basically is very good for dealing with dead enemies if you kill some enemies you can raise them back uh, and then use them on your side basically uh, you can uh, give extra loot to your team which is amazing when you're doing survival missions or even looting missions which I did yesterday for quite a while with Solendrix okay um, basically that's Necros uh, although it normally has uh, this helmet which I actually like a little bit more but I just used uh, this helmet because it makes my necklace look something more special than most I, I really really dislike his, his shroud it's good because I don't need to purchase it I really don't like this really really don't I don't know why anyone would even. Now, we have next frame, Nova. Oh my god, Nova, where to start? She is such a great frame for damage dealing. It's it's the go-to to do that. I mean, really. Okay, I, I call this the candle frame because this is just like a candle with her alternative helmet. Her normal helmet looks slightly more normal. Wow. Wow, just wow. Look, this is her normal one. Whilst this is her candle light one. And basically, I just equip it because it makes her look more special and less noobish. Although, Nova is not a frame you see a lot of noobs run around with. Now, Nova is really special because she has some nice utility. No. Uh, yeah. Yeah, like this. Just some nice utility things. Okay, so I took away her portal ability. She basically has a ability that allows her to create a portal that can teleport her like a lot of distance, um, which is really helpful in moving around, I guess, but I don't really use it that much. So I took away and put constitution in its place which gave me more duration and more duration results in more stars here no star is basically a ability that gives nova little orbs orbiting around her and they attack enemies do quite quite reasonable damage uh, not, not much any more high mission but then they stun so it's still nice and basically with this and continuity uh, it does quite some orbs appear which is always nice. Focus basically allows me to do greater damage with it. Molecular Prime. This is the bread and butter in survival missions of Nova. Basically, you use it and in a certain area around you, everything gets primed, it's called. And when you kill a primed enemy, they explode. And basically, that results in the next primed enemy being exploded too. And... All you just see is one giant fuck up explosion, which I love. I love explosions. That's why I'm making this ogress with dual rocket launchers that 
go random directions, etc. I do not know why my range mod is not on here, which I will put back really, really quickly, probably instead of vitality or redirection, but we will see about that. Antimatter drop basically gives you a orb. I really haven't really used this 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 much, so I I don't really know too much about it. It basically the more damage you do to the orb, um, the bigger it does damage when it lands, and basically it is a nuke. It is a nuke. Um, yeah, <laughs> that, that's it. Basically, it is a nuke. Uh, also, I've heard Nix. Uh, she's almost maximum with me, and Nix is a really awesome frame because she is not the best frame in terms of staying alive. But she is the best in making the enemy kill itself. Basically, she can uh, use her abilities like chaos, etc. Stop, stop showing that. Yes, okay. Stop showing that damn black thing in, across my sh my screen. So Nyx basically uses her ability to change the enemy into like all different factions, which attack, attack each other or have one come to. To the Tano side, basically, um, that that's the two abilities I use really. Then you also have Absorb, uh, which is her ultimate, which results in her meditating midair, and every single bullet that hits her will be returned to sender times two, something like that, something like that. Um, but then we have. Rhino. Rhino is the frame I use the most with the Ogress because I usually shoot myself to death. That's the the main point of the Ogress is to not shoot yourself to death, which is entirely possible. Its explosion hits you too, and you're sentinel. So that's that's usually why I run around without sentinel, really. Uh, yeah. No, but Rhino has the ability of Iron Skin, which basically makes him a lot more tanky. It's what makes him the tank. And it allows him to, well, stay alive after an ugly shot into his own face. I believe even two last time I saw it. Although, I don't know. Um, Not upgrade, silly Kiraxu. Uh, well, I also have his alternative helmet, uh, the the Vanguard one, and yeah, the the default one. That's not the default one. What the hell? This is the default one. Yeah, so I have all of them. Now, then we have. Oh my god. There, much better. <coughs> then I have Sarin. Really haven't used her in very much poison frame that's all I can say about her really because I have not used her much um, I believe she was was a good frame someday sometime maybe even now I don't know because I don't ever use her I just wanted her then you have Trinity um, this is the frame that Sir Lendrix usually uses and um, he has his alternate, her alternative helmet, I do as well, this one, which makes her look like a toilet, but at the other end, she is more tanky than Rhino, because she can use her ability blasting, which gives her complete invulnerability for some time, even if you would put a nuke on her, she would not feel a thing, and she has a link ability, which basically channels damage that she gets to other enemies. Yeah, pretty powerful. That and she can use uh, her abilities to give your allies more... Um, <coughs> sorry for my voice right there. <sighs> she has the ability to give, your, um, uh, to give her allies more health, more energy, especially the more energy is useful. And yeah, with the blessing, she basically heals you completely all over the map, which is awesome. I really don't know why you would not use her as as a support person. Like even so, I don't know. You you don't really feel like support according to Sir Lindrix if you use her, but that might be because he is just fuck off OP at everything. 
Now, Valkyr. Valkyr is the newest frame of them all. Also, my latest obtained frame. Also, she's just ranked 2, so I can't really say too much about her yet. It's 24 minutes since we started this episode, so I probably should end it here. Paralysis is a build, a build you can really spam about. It does drain away your shield, though, and Ripline is the one I want to try out so much. I want to put up quite some, some flow in here and get, get really much energy and just rip around like Spider-Man. It's it's just I'll come back with another video on that. <laughs> Whoops, sorry, <laughs> probably. Um, then Vauban. Vauban is one of my frames I got in start actually. Uh, it's really hard to get because you have to do alerts, but I did him, and he was a really good frame. But I stopped using him uh, for other frames because I didn't really like its ability to not do much in. Uh, any non-survival slash uh, defense mission, but if I have a defense or survival mission against Corpus especially, then this frame is quite useful. He basically is the engineer of Amal. He can place turrets in form of little balls that shoot electricity and can make enemies hover still or can them all group together at one place. Really, the utility in it is marvelous. Now let's go over my primary weapons. Weapons? Weapons, quickly. Uh, the Boltor was really good, I don't really know how it is now. Uh, it has a lot of puncture. Um, it's a machine gun, basically. Uh, then you have the Flex Rifle. Flex Rifle is a laser damage thing. It basically shoots a, well, just a straightforward laser that does a lot of slash damage. But really, he, it, it it is not that good anymore. So, I don't know. Ignis only recently acquired this one. It basically shoots fire normally, although I have changed it to gas just for the fun of it. Uh, and I change it around quite a lot because it, it really is it's quite weird. Also, I will come back with another video on this one, probably. Because if you change the energy color to pink it is just like you are just spewing out uh, the the uh, you know uh, I, I can't really get on the word right now uh, sugar sugar not uh, not something uh, I don't know I really don't know you know that at the f at fairs you can at, at, at fun fairs you can get it as well it's the pink sugary thing ah this really bugs me that I cannot get the word for it. Anyway. Um, can candy spin? Something like that? Uh, I don't even. Onwards to the next one. Ogres already saw this. Snapperton Vandal was really good. Now I don't really know anymore. It's really good against Grenier, I guess. But otherwise, mm, not that much great about it anymore uh, although I have magnetic damage on it right now because I use it for a corpus to test later on later on like earlier um, it does a shit ton, did a shit ton of damage now I don't really know too much about it anymore but it was an event only weapon and it kicked ass um, it had a brief issue with uh, scopes but it, it it's all fixed now now, the Soma, everyone says it's a great gun, but I really don't love it. I can't get myself to like it. Um, it basically has a lot of slash damage, maybe that's why, but... Meh. Uh, it does a lot of crit. A lot of people used it. Never have been much of a fan of it, really. Stern Wraith, uh, Evans has this as well. Well, Evans has a lot of things that I have, but I have some things that Evans doesn't have. Um, Stern Wraith uh, was a really good gun, uh, only available through uh, an event as well. Uh, does a lot of impact damage and puncture, which makes it ideal against Scorpus, as well as decent against uh, Grenier, I guess. Um, I shoot up this bad boy because I really haven't used shotguns. I don't really like shotguns too much. And the Supra. Uh, much like Evans, I can't get myself to like it much. Uh, my friend, Salendrix, uses the Gorgon, and I was like, okay, I should get uh, the Supra. 
but really I don't like this one. I I don't like it at all. The Gorgon, I have the blueprint, but meh. Um, about the secondaries, I have the Acrid, which basically shoots a poison dart, which now is nerfed and not does poison uh, over time anymore too much. The Brack, which was an event-only shotgun-type weapon. Really good, I have to level it more. It was rank 7 yesterday, rank 12 today, so now you know. The Spare, I used this a long time ago, and still now if I have to do something with Puncture, so Kroneer. Uh, and then you have the Hiko, which basically is the same as the Despair, but um, with a freaking much higher fire rate, double the amount, double the clip size. So if you can hit, uh, that means you can take down your enemies twice as fast, but at the other end, um, you will consume a lot more ammo. And... Well, meh. Then, melee weapons, the Galatine, which is basically the God's Blade. Um, I finished building it, so it was great against the old um, damage 1.0. It basically did tons and tons of damage. Now it doesn't really anymore. I'm looking forward to someone with a guide and how exactly to mount melee weapons, because I know jack shit of it. It, I, it doesn't really make much sense to me anymore of course I show you my hate my pickaxe then I have the jaw sword um, I recently got it because I wanted to but it really really disappoints me in how it looks it really does doesn't mean the color I mean I can change the colors but I, I really don't like it I thought it was at least a lot bigger. I thought it was almost a galatine, but no. This is a single hand blade, basically, but you see it used two hands. Well, this, just no. Just change the size of this DE. Change the size. Make it bigger. I don't want to use it, maybe. Even though it's not really good in stats. And then you have the dual eye curves. Yeah, this is my... Shade, you attention whore. Then you have the dual eikers, which is basically my infested weapon. And it does toxic attacks on, on, well, attacks. It's not really, whoa, revolutionary. But it allows you to almost Zoran capture through levels. Although I think I'm going to put this away and get the Zorans instead. Because, meh. Meh, this doesn't do nearly enough damage anyway so although it is quite funny to change this because it does innate poison damage so if I were to put fire in here you get gas damage which looks pretty good if you ask me but doesn't really do much good oh well I just wish they upped the status chance on everything that would be really nice because just no just meh um, I've shown you all the sentinels, I've shown you all their weapons, I've shown you the, all the melees, all the secondaries, all the primaries and all my things there now there is only one thing to do which is take a brief look at my foundry I have the backdraft amber helmet which makes her not look like a chicken anymore um, some other things. Ooh, oh no, I can't build it yet. Need more. I need me more credits. I'm I'm bad as well in making credits stay. Frost Prime. Only need this system still. Ghost Mag. I don't. I could make her, but mm, don't really like that the helmet too much. The Gorgon. I have like three or so blueprints from this. Um. I probably never I'm going to build it because me Sir Lindrix is good with it. I'm not. He's good with machine guns, I'm good with rocket launchers and special things. Um well an Oregon reactor. I can build that as well soon, which is great because I need one. Falker helmet, Falcon blueprint. Yeah, the the Scorpion Ash. Um there's not really much going on in here. I could still show you my uh clan which is a different one than the Rageous one. 
Um, Regis one is looking pretty nice. Ours is a lot smaller. There are a lot of people trying to, I mean, already in there. We just need more capacity, so I can't even leave it. Oh well. Oh well. <sighs> Kirax was tired. Okay, so this was 34, even almost 35. Like, right now, 35 minutes of me just rambling on about Warframe and what I have in it. Um, tell me if you would like some Warframe content for me, because I would very happily make it. Although, I am recording it with Bandicam, which uses a screen, like a rectangular selection. And, um... It basically messes up my shooting every now and then, and it gives me quite some lag as well, but I guess I could make some clips. I mean, why not? I'm correct, so I, I probably could. <clears throat> if not, just some fun videos with Sir Lendrix. Um, but really, that's it for this video. Look forward to some more soon. I can't really promise you when, because I is busy. But yeah, bye YouTube. See you another time.